all right guys so today we're in Cardiff uh, right now we're down in Cardiff Bay just wanted to get out see some more of the UK and we haven't made it to Wales it's our first time in Wales beautiful city uh, we're just really enjoying it so we're just gonna check out the bay and see how the bay is today it's a little cool a little windy a little overcast but hey it's still a great day to be alive Cardiff is the capital and largest city in Wales. With a metropolitan population of about 600,000, Cardiff is busy but not bustling. We had a lot of space around us. Although the city is reported to get around 21 million visitors and it is one of the most visited cities in Wales, when we went, of course, it was just not as busy. This is off tourist season, not a lot of tourists around this time of year. So we were out there mostly, I think, with locals. There were a couple of French groups running around. Located in the southeast of Wales in the Cardiff capital region, we decided to focus our visit around specifically Cardiff Bay. The most dominant structure at Cardiff Bay is the Wales Millennium Center. It looks like a very large clamshell, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, well-designed and obviously very expensive building. Uh, it was really pretty. Uh, it's where the orchestra is hosted, the opera, as well as the dance theater and literature. So it is really, I guess, a place for the Welsh arts to be celebrated. It is on our list of places to revisit when we have a longer stay in Wales. Within the United Kingdom, Wales has its own unique and distinctive culture and its own language, which it also still maintains. English is the first language, but we noticed on all the signs, Welsh was on all of the signs as well. As we drove into the city, I couldn't help but be mesmerized by the beautiful rolling hills covered with fluffy, fluffy sheep. As you guys know, I like sheep and Wales has a lot of them evidently. So if you're visiting the UK, I would encourage you, don't spend all your time in London. Get out and see the English and Welsh countryside. And of course, make a trip to Cardiff. Oh, it's really beautiful out here today. So behind me here is the Pierhead Exhibition and Trade Center. The kids really like this building. They said it's the reddest building they've ever seen. And it is a really nice cherry red on the bricks made, uh, that this building is made of. Right now the boys are just playing with cannons. So right next to that we have here the Welsh Parliament, which is a cool building. I mean, look at that. That is a wonderful, like that is a beautiful design. I love the location down here overlooking the bay. If I worked in a Parliament building, this is the one that I would want to work in. A beautiful gray stone also used in this construction. You can see it's, it's just consistent all the way throughout. Let me turn the camera around so you can take a look. The Wells Millennium Center, the Parliament, and a lot of the surrounding structures are all built using the same beautiful Welsh slate. That's that gray slate that you see. And it just really ties together the overall design for the area. You could tell that this was a planned construction. It really looks good. It's all tied together utilizing that Welsh slate. So it's about a three, three and a half hour drive here from where we live at. Uh, this again, it's just, I just realized it's been too long that we've been in the UK that we haven't made it to Wales. So we had to get over here today. We'll be back and we're gonna do a longer visit, but I just had to get over here today just to go ahead and get it started.
still really nice out here, but the wind is starting to pick up a bit and we are dead on the bay, it's kind of cold. So we're gonna keep wondering, but I think we're gonna head a little bit inland now, <laughs> away from the water to see what else is down here at the, uh, at the bay. I think we're at this called Mermaid Quay, is that it? The Mermaid Quay, that's where we are right now. This side it says Welsh cakes. We gotta try it. My kids wandered away. Yeah, we gotta try these Welsh cakes. Do you have a mask? So we got us some Welsh cakes, traditional and lemon. I don't think my camera was on while I was in there. All right. Yeah, so I didn't get it filmed, unfortunately. But these are some really nice Welsh cakes. The traditional have a bit of a cinnamon, and then the the uh, the lemon has a bit of a lemon zest to it. That's what they look like. So, Welsh cakes. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, that is good. That is really good. It's like a, it's not a shortbread, like a lemon drop cookie. That is really good. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like cooking my stuff. Here. Here. Um, the one with the brown in it. This is the yeah. Yeah, that's a regular one. That's traditional. Yeah, that one's lemon. Those are good, right? They are yummy. What's that? Yummy. Yeah, those are really good. I like those. I like them. I like the little soft and shoes, right? Yes. Oh, the traditional has raisins in it. So it's raisins. It's like a cinnamon raisin, kind of like a shrunk down cinnamon swirl. This is really good. I'll be back with this. I'm really looking forward to our next trip back to Wales, back to Cardiff. Any city that sits on the water that is this coastal, has a bay, has to have some really awesome seafood to go along with those Welsh cakes. So we didn't get a chance to try any of the seafood. I presume it's good. I wanted to get back over there and try it and see it for myself. Um, it was a short trip, just jumping in for really just a day. So we didn't get a chance to do that, but we did get a wonderful chance to explore Cardiff Bay. We just did a quick tour of Cardiff Bay and Mermaid Quay. We got to try some Welsh cakes. They are delicious. Join us next time. Like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.